Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. We need her junior discretion is advised. So what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a ba -ba banger of a ba banger of a video glitch. I got my notes and everything. If you guys are new to the channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. Now make sure to take a second, pause the video, and can we get 2,000 likes? Yeah, feel me? Just because we've been posting every day non-stop. Now there's some, I think there's like a day here where I missed it, but it has been every single day because we post on TikTok. Make sure you do follow tiktok but make sure to follow here too you feel up brother but thank you for joining us for another day of the life of cheese man make sure you get your cheese man in and then take your ass to church leave the damn crystals on the side for a second let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to watching this cheese man with some spicy ceviche and my meat cheese <laughs> <laughs> Now, the first thing that I'm actually going to be talking about is going to be actually in some parts for Jenny69. If you guys did miss the full live, I actually posted it on my second channel, Panchito. Now, remember, we post on that channel what you guys missed. For all my detailed cheese mo says I want to see everything and don't want to miss nothing that she said over on that channel. But she started breaking down and a lot of people were feeling for her and this happened. My Emotional yesterday, but... I'm just trying to like, just keep it going. Like, what am I gonna do? Like, life's a, what am I gonna do? I think so the only thing that I can do is just try to help him. And I just was like, you know what? Maybe I just need to start fucking staying home, you know? So I think I'm just gonna start staying home until I'm able to find him like a good medication for him to just like relax because pobrecito like i i honestly don't know even what he feels like you know because i took medication for my anxiety you know and i feel like growing up mexican like medication or when you tell people oh about medication they're like no 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 don't do that don't do that's bad but it's like you really don't know like my situation like even when, we, when we're trying to do therapies for him like he can't sit still so he's gonna be people that are like oh well, you need to discipline him or instead of recording blah blah and it's just like bitch i'm really trying to just live a normal life that i'm just like like sometimes i just want to die now i actually like this side of jenny because she was actually genuine yeah feel me but a lot of moms were commenting down below that they really do feel for her that it is a lot of work that she they, a lot of people do understand her completely and then she also mentioned about the whole nurse situation how the nurses lied if you guys don't remember there were some accusations going around that she got beat by mr manny and then the nurses came out and exposed this My so you were in the hospital nurses hated you talking shit about you crying in pain they're they're lying bitch if somebody were to fucking leak my shit out like that i will literally sue the whole fucking hospital like i don't give a fuck i will catch a case now that did kind of seem like that was obvious i don't know why they had a voice changer or had all these things going on but i did think that was fake boo boo as well and then her and gabriel even mentioned uh, the whole situation with the laura medallin and why they didn't attend the wedding Mine. gabriel are you going to laura's wedding no i wasn't invited <laughs> I, I was like, oh. like i kept telling him stop asking me like i'm not going me and her aren't cool yeah like you are in sense because y'all aren't cool yeah, oh, but some people that... don't know about what happened. Oh, true. How much do they know about what happened? If you scroll and you look for it, like, you could find it. True, because you and Ani did the live, right? Zamink. And then she started uh, calling me out, ya feel me, uh, that she wants to fight me, uh, yada, yada, yada. Now, I saw and I heard it when Gabriel said, is he good looking? And I also kept that hurry hearing him ask if he's straight. Da, 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 da. Okay, just because I do cheese men doesn't mean that I'm not straight. <laughs> you feel it, brother? Men are cheese most of the But when he asked Jenny that, she kind of took a second and said, I can't remember what he looks like. Is he cute? Oh, he's handsome. I just always want to know. <laughs> Is someone hot? <laughs> well, if I was ugly, now let me just put this down. See, style like like full throttle ugly is what I'm saying. Because I know I'm a little ugly to some people's perspective. But if I was full throttle ugly, like, yeah. Jenny would have said right off the bat, ugh, ugh, that fail. But she actually said, well, he does have hair. A tus órdenes, Jenny69. Me amo Pancho Guillermo Javier Canales. 
that's to answer your question mr gabriel if i am straight sorry about that we don't swing on the other side but speaking of the laura medallin wedding a lot of people were saying that the wedding was kind of a little bit on the mid 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 and the reason i'm thinking this is because some other i don't know who it was some other influencers we, they actually set the tone high for i guess the wedding so everyone expected her wedding to be booming then some people were saying she only did it because of less to makeup but this happened my god <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> now I can see why people are thinking of this because most of the time these influencers, these Cheetos usually do it like in a backyard house kind of looking like that. So a lot of people are probably assuming it was going to be something else. But as long as she's happy, if it's her budget, I mean, it's her wedding. Some people were criticizing because she had a bun her, because of her chanclas or shoes. What the flag is the, if Laura Medellin's happy, then Laura Medellin's happy in a the, in the garage or I'm happy in a garage. <laughs> so she can be happy in a garage too. <laughs> you feel up? Yay, garage pals. Woo, 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 woo. But make sure to comment down below about the whole situation with the wedding and did you guys see that alondra desi surgeon now i didn't see this whole uh, i guess explanation of what it means to be botch uh, so somebody said this sentence to me and it came to my attention but he had this to say in general speaking about what it means to be botched my we've all heard the term botched now now what does botched mean well it's been popularized by cosmetic surgery tv shows to really uh describe extreme cases where the surgeon made a big mistake, there was a complication, or the results are really abnormal or really bad, where anybody would just look at it and say, oh, this is botched. Um, now, by and large, most procedures are not botched. And in fact, if you've had a surgery years ago uh, and it's changed over time, that's normal. Like there's a normal aging process or your body can just change with weight gain or weight loss or even a pregnancy. And in those cases, you may need a revision or a touch-up, but that doesn't mean it's botched. So if you're interested in getting a touch-up, please uh, visit me at my website at dosmd.com. So did you see that eye twitch? He said, he said, deformations can happen when deformations happen. <laughs> God damn, el demonio. You know, so funny. You can see when somebody has el demonio metido. You know what? I'll send a prayer for you, young man. Because that eye twitch was scaring me just a little bit. I was very, very terrified. Maybe he just has an eye twitching problem. But but, but that kind of seemed like a demonic. Like, mm. I can't believe I have all this energy. I've been posting like five days in a week. Like usually like last year when I usually did like five day benders on cheese man on the fifth day. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I don't even want to post cheese man at that point. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap a video here for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow. Because maybe we're going to do another, another DJ Khaled. Another one really do appreciate you guys follow my social medias take a second to pause the video and like the video helps us out to promote the new cheese mosas and cheese mosas and i really do appreciate you guys dice me estoy comunicando de españa ah, muchas gracias. te quiero dar te quiero dar tres mil pesos mexicanos está bien déjate venir eh, si dios quiere voy a ir en tres años estoy planeando mi viaje y allá te los voy a dar si dios quiere no ya, ya para esa fecha ya voy a estar en el panteón, ya te voy a esperar. Esas son de... Porque te las compro de flores y te las lleves. Son, esas son vitaminas de, de nomás de, de tres años. Ojalá que me digas que vienes hasta los 20 años.